Hello my friends, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is 1 over x squared plus 1 over x plus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 1, to find the values of x. In the first step, we start by letting x as a and x plus 1 as b. So, from here, b minus a is equal to b is x plus 1 and minus a, a is x. So x plus 1 minus x, it will be 1, right? So, in next step, rewrite this equation and it will be 1 over x squared, x is a. So a squared and plus 1 over x plus 1 is b. So b square is equal to 1 and a next step from these two fraction we take common denominator and it will be a square times b square and here for this fraction we multiply this denominator by b square so we multiply this denominator by b square it will be b square times 1 it will be b square and plus for this fraction we multiply this denominator by a square so we multiply this denominator by a square it will be a square times a is times 1 it will be a square and is equal to 1 and in here we have b square plus a square right and as you know if we have b minus a to power of 2 this is equal to b square plus a square and minus 2ab, right? And in here, we take this to this side and it will be b minus a to the power of 2 is equal to uh, plus, plus this 2ab, this to this side will be positive 2ab, is equal to b square plus a square, right? So, In here, we can write this b square plus a square in this form and it will be write this as b minus a to the power of 2 and plus 2ab over a square b square and we can write a square b square as ab to the power of 2, right? Is equal to 1 and here we have b minus a and b minus a is 1 so we substitute in here and it will be this is 1 to power of 2 it will be 1 so 1 plus 2 a b over a b to power of 2 is equal to 1 and next step we use cross multiplication and it will be 1 plus 2ab is equal to ab to the power of 2, right? And in next step, we take these two parts to this side and it will be, in here we have ab to the power of 2 and this to this side, it will be negative 2ab and this to this side, it will be negative 1 is equal to 0. And in next step, we let a, B as T. So, in here it will be T square minus 2T minus 1 is equal to 0. And from here, we use quadratic formula, which is T is equal to negative B plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a which is a is coefficient of t square is 1 and b is coefficient of t is negative 2 and c is constant is negative 1 so t is equal to negative b negative negative 2 it will be positive 2 plus or minus square root of b square negative 2 square it will be 4 
and minus 4 times a, a is 1, and times c, c is negative 1, and over 2a, 2a it will be 2, and from here, t is equal to 2 plus or minus, sort of, in here, negative 4 times 1 times negative 1, it will be positive 4, so 4 plus 4, it will be 8, and over 2, and in here, it will be 2 plus or minus, in here, we can write a as 4 times 2, right? So, a square root of 4 is 2, and times a square root of 2 over 2. So, from here, t is equal to 1, 2 over 2 is 1, plus or minus 2 square root of 2 over 2, it will be a square root of 2. And here, we have 2 value for t. In here, t is equal to 1 plus square root of 2, and t is equal to 1 minus square root of 2. Our next step, recall this. ab is equal to t, and from here, also a is x, and b is x plus 1. So we're writing here, ab is equal to t and a is x and b is x plus 1, right? So, a times b, it will be x times x plus 1, x times x plus 1 is equal to t, and t is 1 plus the square root of 2, right? So, in next step, we take this to this side, and it will be in here we have x times x is x square, and plus x times 1 it will be x, and we take this to this side and it will be negative 1 plus square root of 2 is equal to 0. And here, we use quadratic formula, which is x is negative b plus or minus square root of b square, minus 4ac over 2a, and a is coefficient of x square is 1, and b is coefficient of x is 1, and c is constant, is negative 1 plus square root of 2, right? So, from here, x is equal to negative b, negative 1 plus or minus square root of b square, 1 square will be 1, minus 4 times a, a is 1, so 4 times 1 is 4, and times c, and c is negative 1 plus, negative 1 plus the square root of 2, and it will be negative 1 minus the square root of 2, right? This negative times this, it will be negative 1 minus the square root of 2, and over 2a, 2a it will be 2, and in here, x is equal to, negative 1 plus or minus a square root of 1. In here we have negative 4 times negative 1, it will be positive 4. And negative 4 times negative a square root of 2, it will be positive 4 a square root of 2, right? And over 2. And from here, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 4 the square root of 2 over 2. And in here we can write this as negative 1 over 2, it will be negative 1 over 2, plus or minus the square root of 5 plus 4 the square root of 2, over 2, right? So in here, we have two answer for x. And in here, we have t is equal to 1 minus a square root of 2. And t is a, b, and a is x, and b is x plus 1. So a, b, it will be x times x plus 1 is t, and t is 1 minus a square root of 2. And it will be x square plus x and minus 1 minus square root of 2 is equal to 0. And here, 
x is equal to negative b, b is 1. So negative b, it will be negative 1 plus or minus a square root of b square, b square is 1 square, is 1 plus uh, minus 4ac. a is 1, so 4 times 1 is 4, and times c, and c is negative this, right? Negative 1 plus square root of 2. Right, negative 1 and negative times negative would be positive square root of 2. And over 2a, 2a is 2. And x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1. In here, negative 4 times negative 1, it will be positive 4. 1 plus 4. And negative 4 times the square root of 2, it will be negative 4 square root of 2 over 2. And from here, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 is 5 minus 4 square root of 2 over 2. And here, 5 minus 4 square root of 2 is less than 0, right? We write in here, 5 minus... 4 square root of 2. We can write 5 as square root of 25, right? And minus, we can write 4 as square root of 16 times square root of 2. And it will be square root of 25 minus square root of 16 times square root of 2. It will be square root of 32. So 25 is less than 32. So square root of 25 is also less than 32, square root of 32. And this is less than zero, right? So in here we have no real solution. So we reject this value for t. And our final answer is this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.